This is Fong, our Malayan sun bear. Isn't he cute? His name is spelled F-O-N-G, and it's a name that suits where he came from. You'll notice when he walks by, and I'll leave the camera right here so you can see it. When he walks by, you'll notice his long, 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 long fingernails, his claws. There they are. They're long and they're curved, and that's because he primarily eats things like termites, ants, beetle larvae, um, honey, different kinds of fruit. And so those nails allow him to dig and grasp for those things. Major threats to the Malayan sun bear are things like habitat destruction, poaching, especially in China. People like to collect bear paws and things like that illegally. Habitat destruction, tearing down of trees and that kind of thing. He's native to Southeast Asia. He's from Malaysia and Indonesia, as far west of, as India. He gets his name from the crescent-shaped patch on the upper chest, which you can kind of see when he walks by. It's that little yellow patch on his chest. Some say it looks like the rising sun. But just like any other animal, that patch is a little different on each one. Like your fingerprints. Um, a fun fact about the Malayan sun bear is he has a really long tongue. Kind of like a giraffe, but not quite as long. Um, it can reach up to nine and a half inches. And it's used to get honey out of the trees and insects. I don't know what you think, but I think Fong's pretty darn cute. You'll notice in his enclosure... In his enclosure, there are a lot of trees and climbing. There's a little cave. All the things that he likes the most. You know, look at those fingernails. But boy, isn't he cute.